today I'm going to be talking to you about Raw Curls Medium Hold Gel for curly hair. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Raw Curls company, then I'm going to talk about the product itself, I'm going to highlight some ingredients, I'm going to tell you my opinion of it. My name is Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. I apologize for my crazy hair. Um, I don't have a blow dryer and I have low porosity hair and it just takes forever to dry. So I wanna tell you guys a little bit about Raw Curls. So this company was formed by a couple, um, Ken and Melanie Nichols. Now, Ken had a background with chemicals. I've seen some of his videos where he references working with uh, swimming pools. And now chemicals have a bad rep and the truth is without them we would be dead. Um, water and air, those are composed of chemicals. They are not inherently bad. Um, his wife, uh, Melanie, has a very different background, so she's a hairstylist. So she has worked with, I'm sure, dozens and dozens of products and different hair textures. And so they've created a company focusing on natural products, um, and one of their sections of their website is for people with curly hair. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, I think they believe that their products are um, like luxury products. I would not put them in the same category as luxury products for a few reasons. Um, one is the packaging, um, two is the price point, and then the third thing is how they've handled PR, which I know how they handle PR um, can be pretty controversial because there's a lot of luxury brands out there that are bad with it. Um, one company that I think is just amazing is Innersense, and I've recently gotten the chance to try some of their products, but I would say um, Innersense is a luxury brand. Rock Curls is definitely more expensive than... Um, Generic products out there, they're more expensive than Shea Moisture, but the awesome thing about Raw Curls is they have a very limited number of products. So I am somebody who gets overwhelmed by choice, like Shea Moisture has so many products out there, um, I just purchase so many of them. And I do regret that. With Raw Curls, when I was looking, they had the Medium Hold Gel and the Hard Hold Gel, and um, I actually purchased this from a buy sell trade group. So full disclaimer, I did not purchase from their website. With that being said, over the years, uh, a lot of things that I have purchased have been used. Um, I grew up uh, shopping at Salvation Army and Goodwill before it was cool, you know, due to money issues. Um, and even nowadays, a lot of the skincare and body care products I get and hair care products, I do purchase from other people. And I've never had any issue um, at all, whether getting screwed over as far as payment or with the products. Um, my essential oils especially, I've purchased a lot of those from buy sell trade groups. This shirt I'm wearing actually came from a buy sell trade group. So um, one thing that Ken has said on his website is there's a question and it says, do you use preservatives? And he says, no. Flat out no. And then goes on to say, you know, we use our natural preservatives. This just reminds me of um, Bill Clinton when he was asked on the stage, you know, did you, whatever. This is, uh, I'm not going to say what because in case kids are watching. Do you use preservatives? The answer to this question is yes, we use preservatives because they do. It's not no, we don't use preservatives, we use natural ones. Um, if they had said to use, use synthetic preservatives, then he could have said no. But the fact remains, he uses preservatives and that is fantastic. He missed the chance to educate people how fantastic preservatives are. I made a video about it, fantastic. Um, what preservatives do is they keep products from growing natural microorganisms like bacteria, which is gram positive and gram negative bacteria, yeast, mold, and fungus. These are natural. Um, these are free too. These can grow in your products free. Like I love natural things, I love free things, but I don't want bacteria, yeast, mold, or fungus growing in my product. And preservatives inhibit this. Um, and Ken does, they actually do microbial tests, which are pet tests, challenge tests, or preservative efficacy testing. They do do that to make sure the preservatives work. So I think um, he should change his website and use this opportunity to educate people how fantastic preservatives are. Now I'm going to show you um, a little bit about the product and I want to start with one very negative thing and like I said I did purchase this from somebody else when I purchased this she said that she had just purchased it within the year and their products are supposed to be for good for two years and like I've said I've never had any issue whatsoever now that I have had this issue I'm definitely going to be asking more questions um, when I purchase the product beginning with please open the product to make sure it's not molding so I'm going to show you guys what happened this product is about a year old. Can you guys see? There is mold all along the top here. There, can you guys see? All along the neck of the bottle, there's black mold. 
there's a little bit there. I know it's harder to see with the light, but I'm going to show you the inside of the cap. And you guys can plainly see that this product has molded. The neck has molded and the cap is molded. Now inside, I don't see any mold at all inside, and I know you guys can't see. Um, but inside, so this is about down to here. I don't see anything and I don't smell anything weird. Um, but somehow the actual container has molded um, and I will definitely not be using this anymore because of this. Um, so I did say I did purchase this from Bicell Trade Group. Another thing is that um, Ken has actually come out and said that they have had an issue with a certain batch. I had posted um, this as, you know, uh, an FYI, not about raw curls. Um, I didn't want a bad mouth raw curls, but I wanted to post it as, you know, it's the end of the year, clean out your products, make sure that nothing is molded. And one woman um, contacted him and, you know, he was very diplomatic and he said they had a bad batch and he would, um, you know, replace my product if I gave the product uh, the receipt or anything information about that. I don't have that for one and two I don't want another product because it didn't work well for my hair. Um, and Ken has also been involved in a lot of drama in some of his Facebook groups. Um, he has deleted posts, he has um, blocked people, kicked them out of the group. Um, he has, um, to his credit, he has said he has received death threats over I have no idea what. That's definitely something you have to take seriously. He's trying to protect himself and his family. Um, but I do know some of the people he've kicked out of the group, and these are nice people, normal people, and it seems like if they're questioning him or his products at all, he kind of just gives people the boot, which is definitely not a way to run the business. Um, I know another blogger out there is Allison from Real Life Curly Girl, and she went on Instagram, and she had a story up for 24 hours, and she basically said she wanted nothing else to do with the company, no, no further things, and she used to love raw curls, and she hasn't really gone into why. Um, I will definitely not be repurchasing anything from them. Um, I know they have drama. I did have my product mold, which is probably beyond their control, um, possibly, depending on the batch number. My issue is the product itself, and I want to tell you guys about that. So on here, this is the container. Um, this is 16 ounces, which is 473 milliliters. There's nothing on here that says a best buy date or an expiry date, and there's nothing on here that says shelf life. So those are two things that um, kind of, that do con definitely concern me. Um, next time I'm going to be purchasing products, whatever I'm going to be purchasing, I'm definitely going to be writing a permanent marker um, when it was opened and what the shelf life was. I think 24 months is a very long time um, due to these ingredients. So you have water and then you have aloe. Um, and 99.7 of these ingredients are natural and organic. They put natural and organic together. I don't know what percentage is organic alone, but this entire finished product is not a certified organic product. Some of the individual ingredients are, such as aloe. The third ingredient is cornstarch. Cornstarch is what I believe gives its hold. So this product, the ingredients are the exact same as the hard hold gel. Um, and this would have confused me, except I have a, a product, two products um, by Karina Organics. I have the daily conditioner and the deep conditioner, and their ingredients are the same. But on Karina Organics' website, they explain that they use different percentages. Now, my belief is, I haven't asked Ken or got this um, verified, my belief is the cornstarch is different in here. I believe it's lower in here than it is in the hard hold gel, and I'm sure other ingredients, the percentages are different as well. I found this gave a decent amount of hold to my hair to the fact that it was actually harder to scrunch out the crunch. So I'm glad I tried the medium hold gel rather than the hard hold gel. Um, and then they have panthenol and glycerine. Glycerine is also certified organic. Now glycerine and aloe are two ingredients that you need to be careful with because these are humectants. What humectants are is they kind of act a bridge between your hair and the outside air. So if there's too much, if there's more moisture in the air than there is in your hair, the humectants can kind of pull the moisture out of your hair and into the air, and vice versa. It can pull it from your hair, um, in, sorry, from the air into your hair. Um, and this can cause your hair to get frizzy. So a lot of people do avoid humectants such as glycerin and aloe in uh, leave-in products when there's high or low dew points. I'm going to link below. Dew points is DEW, which is moisture or, you know, water that's in the air. Other people um, avoid them completely, whether they're in um, shampoo and conditioner and what they rinse out. You have to figure out what works for you. Um, I know everybody is different, and, so, and also winter and summer, you might have different results. After that, they have a number of extracts, um, and some of the extracts they have actually put their 
their common name in parentheses, um, such as nettle, horsetail, and cucumber, and some of them they haven't. Um, then they have a silk protein. Now, some people do avoid silk proteins. They say their hair is um, protein sensitive. It is about halfway down the list. Our hair does need protein, so you have to figure out a balance between moisture and protein. If you don't have any uh, protein in your incorporated into your routine, your hair is going to get very mushy and soft. Um, then they have acrylate, uh, cross polymer, potassium salt, and then they start getting into products that are going to extend the shelf life and are preservative. So potassium sorbate, citric acid, honeysuckle flower extracts, and Japanese honeysuckle flower extracts. Now, these honeysuckle flower extracts sound awesome. They sound like butterflies and rainbows. Flowers sound amazing. Now, they are actually pretty controversial. There's not a lot of data out there, but I have seen, and I'm gonna link below and you guys can decide for yourself. I have seen um, that they are similar to parabens. They behave as parabens. Um, and I know that might be a concern to some people. So you guys can read about that and do your own research. Um, so I want to tell you my basic opinion of this product before I knew about all the drama that was going on with Ken um, and his family and before I realized that my product had molded, I had decided long before that that I was not going to be repurchasing this product. And the simple uh, fact of the matter is aloe makes my hair flash dry. And I've got a video, you guys can check that out, but basically, um, when I add products with a lot of aloe to my hair, I'll wet it to dripping wet hair, and then I add aloe, and it feels like all the moisture is sucked out of my hair, and my hair gets hard, like it's, the gel has dried in my hair. Um, and I used to not mind, and now I just think it's kind of weird. It, it just feels like the moisture is getting sucked on my hair. So I will not um, be repurchasing um, any of his products, actually, because most, I, uh, all of them, ones that I have, and I do have... Um, the conditioner and the spray and uh, one other one I can't remember. All of them are aloe based um, and aloe just personally doesn't work for my hair. I know that other people have had issues with um, Ken himself, but um, you know, that's a personal thing, but also his products. Other people have had their products mold. I have seen people uh, pull out uh, like disgusting things from inside of their products and to his credit, um, he did say that they did have a bad batch, and I don't know what it is, and he was also very diplomatic. He said he would replace the product, and like I said, I didn't want to have it replaced, but he did deal with it in a very graceful manner. Um, I just personally do not like aloe in my products, so now I want to hear from you guys. I know this is kind of a negative video. Um, what do you think of Raw Curls? Um, do you like their products? Please let me know um, in the comments below because I do enjoy hearing from you guys. Please like this video and give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I will see you guys later.